All right, since we are all here today, class. Yes. Thank you. I know that even though that we're all here, we're going to have like a whole bunch of views on this one. So, yeah, that's me casting shade at people. All right, so going through here, determine where trigonomic functions are continuous. Now, remember, sine and cosine are waves. Tangent, cotangent are not. You need more copies? Yeah. What happened to the other ones? I don't know what happened to those. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, wow, look. You left it on my desk. Oh. Yeah. Is that your handwriting, too? Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, tangent, cotangent, or non-continuous because they're sine over cosine or cosine over sine. So every place where the denominator is zero is going to be an asymptote. So therefore, the same thing works for their inverses. They are all are going to have asymptotes on this one. This is a good reference to always go to. Sorry about that. All right. Determine where exponential or logarithmic function is continuous. Exponential function is continuous on its domain for all real numbers. That means that there's no place in which that it is going to be undefined. There's not. Okay. So anything with exponential would be like this here so it's whatever my base is raised to my variable and that is going to be all real numbers but my base a cannot be zero okay and if it's one it's also not doesn't work why does it not work if it's one what's one squared one to the fifth one to the twenty second yeah that's why it doesn't work okay can't just have one to some exponent. Uh, logarithmic functions continuing on its domain, all positive real numbers. It doesn't work for negatives. So if you were to take a graph of this, there is a vertical asymptote at zero. Okay, if you were to take a graph of a logarithmic function, there's a vertical asymptote at zero, and so it does not exist on the left side of that graph. But it does exist for everything that is going to be greater than. Yes? Okay. So that's important to understand. All positive real numbers. So like these right here. Now, these ones right here are really good rules to go along with. So limit A, A is constant. It just gives me that, whatever A is. Limit uh, C. It is just going to be a variable there. It's whatever that is. So whatever you're plugging in there. All these right here are plugging in. But the key ones that I want you guys to focus on the most are these two right here. Out of all these problems that we're going to do, these ones you need to memorize. You need to at least recognize them and say, hey, sine theta over theta. It's kind of like when I was talking about when we were doing the homework problem today. It was, hey, look, if I can get sine theta out of theta over theta somehow factored into my problem, I know that that's going to give me one by actually, uh, I'll pull up my homework here, right here for this problem here. So we were able to separate it. So right here, we had sine theta. 3 sine theta over 2 theta, we separated it, so this right here became 1 times 3 over 2. It makes your life a whole lot easier having these tools and identifying, okay, so it's sine theta over theta, so any place I have that, that's going to be 1. And this other one is going to be cosine theta minus 1 over theta is going to give me 0. That's important because anything times zero is zero. That helps clear up a lot of your problems in the limit process. Every time you see that, you're like, oh, zero times something, zero. So by separating it like I did on question 25, if I had the 
if this was the cosine theta minus 1 over theta, this whole piece would be 0. This whole piece would be 0, and my answer would just come out to be 1 half. Okay? Does that make sense? That's the reason why we're going through this and identifying those things to make life easier. And guess what? We done. So since we're done right now, what does that mean? Homework time and homework's going to be due. Wednesday. Good. Yes. Wednesday. All right. And so make sure everyone's going to be like, sharing, and subscribing. And there is a uh, a sale on the on the hoodies. So if you go to the website, okay, buy my merch.